This comes as the city recently cut funding for some programs, including the Office of Promotion and the Arts. Fox 45's Jeff Abel joins us live with why some are questioning the city spending habits. Jeff. Well, imagine an unexpected $54 million arriving on your doorstep. Well, moments after it arrived at City Hall, it was spent. Okay, Baltimore City Council Ways and Means Committee, we're going to get started. At the rate of a million a minute, it didn't take long for city leaders to find a place for an unexpected $54 million. Somewhere along the line, someone didn't do the right fiscal analysis, and now they have this $54 million to spend. According to the city, the windfall comes from higher than projected income and property tax revenues. But as quickly as it arrived, it was spent. These two supplementary uh, appropriation bills uh, move money to uh, multiple services. On Tuesday, a council committee approved how the $53.8 million would be earmarked. $3.9 million for city council projects. $1.3 million for council staff and training. $12.2 million for transportation and parks projects. $6 million for DPW staff. $800,000 for after school programs. $500,000 for Monzi staff. And $10.2 million for miscellaneous economic development projects. This is good old fashioned pork barrel politics. And who knows what these projects will be and if they'll be in the best interest of the city and the citizens. The windfall comes just days after the city announced it would not provide $1.8 million in emergency funds to the city's Office of Promotion and Arts. But today, it has plenty of plans for $54 million. Taxpayer advocate David Williams believes it could prove to be a dangerous investment. This could potentially mean more spending in the future. If you're adding staff, even if you're building a project, that means maintenance and upkeep of that project. So this could end up costing the city a lot more in the future. The full council is expected to give final approval to this project in the next two weeks. We are live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.